Back at 5.30 now, it's been five long years since the disappearance of a little boy. Today, the search for him heated up again. Good evening once again. I'm Maurice Dubois. Welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Christine Johnson. Seven-year-old Patrick Alford simply vanished. And since 2009, while many of us forgot about his family's heartbreak, one police lieutenant has made it his mission to find the boy. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez has more from Starrett City in Brooklyn. Patrick, if you are listening or watching this, please call 911. Wherever you are, I will have people come and get you and bring you back. A heartfelt plea from Lieutenant Christopher Zimmerman, heading the search for Patrick Alford since he vanished January 22, 2010. Alford was seven years old. This age progression picture shows what he'd look like now at 12 years old. The New York City Police Department and your community needs your help. On the five-year anniversary of Alfred's disappearance, police are hitting the streets of Starrett City, Brooklyn, hanging missing person posters and offering a $12,000 reward. We're, as they say, shaking the tree. We're hoping that somebody had seen something that they maybe were dismissive about that I would like to know about. Alfred was last seen at this Spring Creek Towers apartment building on Vandalia Avenue. He was living here with a foster family while his biological mother, Jennifer Rodriguez, struggled with a substance abuse problem. Alfred was with his foster mother in this hallway taking out garbage when police say Alfred ran away. I believe Patrick's a lot. I absolutely believe Patrick's a lot. That's what keeps us motivated. As neighbor James Marshall walked with his young grandson, he says he sympathizes with Alfred's family. It's a shame that, you know, it's so long that nobody ain't come through with some information or something, and I hope the family get some type of closure about it. The NYPD was also hanging up these posters in the Staten Island neighborhood where Alfred's family lives. Police say they will not give up until they bring the boy home. In Starrett City, Brooklyn, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News.